I have taken more than two million pictures. But there are also hundreds or maybe thousands that I haven't taken them for different reason. Because I have a principle when I'm working that it doesn't matter how important is the picture, if the person that I'm photographing, he needs my hands, he needs my help, so no picture. I don't take pictures at this moment. I drop everything. One of those moments which I remember, it is 8 April 1992, when uh, the Afghan government has collapsed and it was a chaos. So a lot of group of the fighters, they were going to enter the city. There was no government. I had hired a car in the border. And when we take this mountain road, I saw group of the families, people running out from the cities. I had to stop my car for a few minutes because I saw a very beautiful landscape. And that's what also I do. Even in the war, in the most difficult time of the war, uh, if I see a nice picture, I stop and uh, totally my mind goes to the landscape and beauty and photographing there. Then I came back to the car and was going up and I saw from far a big van that people even sitting over, over the van, all these people that running from the wall, families, people, and suddenly the van hit the landmine and just went blown up in front of my eyes. I stopped the car and I asked my driver to stop, he stopped it. We take the camera and by the time that I'm getting out, I could see the whole van is in flame and fire and people were blown up. People were everywhere, bloodshed. And I got out my camera and looking to this, trying to, to frame and to get the picture first. And suddenly, in the middle of this smoke and everything, I heard a little girl voice who was crying and in the middle of this smoke and fire she was running toward me I saw her And she saw me. And suddenly she opened her hands, called me in Afghan language, uncle, uncle. So I dropped the camera. I mean, I dropped really on the, on the road. And I run toward her. And I take on my arms and I could see other people shouting and crying and wounded. I was just taking care of her. So this is one of those hundreds of the picture that I haven't taken in a minute after uh, I saw my driver, which was back, has taken out my cameras, put on the car and coming toward me and shouting, jump on the car, jump on the car, the soldier arriving and shooting. So I had to leave the, the scene. And I was hearing the soldiers in the back shooting toward us. But we escaped. We went after the van and then we continue. Because if I had stayed there, I would be killed by the soldiers that was running uh, there. Remember this picture. Sometimes even I thought, 
Maybe I should find a painter friend and ask him to, to paint this. Probably one of my best pictures. But that's what I always say to the photographer that the most important is your behavior on the field with the people. It is not the pictures that you will get. The most important things that always when you're looking back you feel what you have done was right and this is one example of the stories that uh, many of them I had obviously